Hey, what's up guys? We're going scuba diving today. I know my words aren't matching up with the sound because the underwater housing was making the audio terrible on my GoPro at this point. So let's just get right into it. We're going scuba diving today and it wasn't long before we met up with some friends. Right here we got Chris and Maddie with this beautiful loggerhead sea turtle they found. Now you might be wondering why they're holding it. Unfortunately, it was quite emaciated. We don't really know what was going on with this turtle, but Chris says it most likely ingested a fishing hook or some other kind of debris that was preventing it from eating and getting the nutrients it needed. Either way, this turtle did get the help that it needed, and I'm hoping that it makes a full recovery. We did see lots of healthy life on the jetty. Here's some damselfish hanging out right here. We saw lots of these little guys and a lot of other colorful little reef fish. There's lots of crabs out as well, like the stone crab hiding in a crevice. And these rafts were ab absolutely everywhere. Look at how beautiful those guys are. This is a blue crab. These are pretty common as well in the area. And here's a nice up close of a damselfish that I was able to lure in by scratching on that rock. These are what the damselfish look like when they're younger. They're much more vibrantly colored with that blue and yellow contrast. But as they get older, they kind of darken up. They're still beautiful in my opinion though. Here's some more rafts right here. These guys are super fun to watch because they're always zipping in and out of the rocks. I'm not sure what kind of crab this is, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Caitlin had a great time because we just had a baby and we haven't really gotten to do a lot of stuff like this together in a while. But my mom was able to come babysit Wesley for a little bit, so we were able to get out and have a blast out here on this little artificial reef. We were looking around in the rocks looking for octopus and seahorses and things like that and I spotted this cool arrowhead crab. These guys look a lot like underwater spiders but you can see they have a very pointed carapace there that gives them that really arrowhead kind of appearance. You can see just how much life was out there. We were having a blast. Here's a remora. These are the guys that suck onto the side of sharks and eat their scraps. Life everywhere. Great time. We never could have guessed what was going to be at the surface when we came up. So as you can see, we got rained out there with the scuba diving, but I did end up coming back at a sunnier time and got to do some free diving without a scuba tank. And as you can see right here, I got to find my first ever Goliath grouper. I did some hand wiggling here and he came in for a second and then caught on pretty quick and started to swim away. This was super cool. That's a small Goliath grouper as well. They can be a lot larger than that, but that thing on its own was incredible to look at. So with the sun out and the light shining straight through the water, you can see how clear it looks. These larger fish are some smoke that I'd also never seen in the wild before and as you can see this school of mangrove snapper was absolutely circling me. I couldn't see anything through them. And these mangrove snapper are delicious. I spearfish for these guys all the time so it was so cool getting to see so many of them all together right there in this huge massive school. These snook are really cool to see. I got to get pretty close to one of them. Here's Caitlin making a dive, trying to see if she can find anything in the rocks there. I saw this Goliath grouper again, so I decided to make another dive. So I started wiggling my fingers and making a grunting sound, you can probably hear. And this intrigued him a lot. He started coming in here in that grunting. He wanted to see what those fingers were, if they were edible, but then, once again, right there, he turned away and saw that I was definitely not prey. So after seeing all this really cool fish, I decided to practice some deep free dives. Since I haven't really gotten to practice my breath hold in a while, I decided I would try to push myself a little and see just how far I could get down there. And I didn't have a dive watch at this time, so I didn't really get to check how far I went. But I did make some pretty decently deep dives. I'm not entirely sure how far, like I said, but I, if I had to guess, I'd say it was around 50 or 60 feet. But it might have been more, I'm not entirely sure. 
So I'll just be quiet now and let you guys enjoy the sights and sounds of the ocean floor as I descend down this slope and just take it all in like I did. Alrighty guys, we are headed out tonight to do some looking for a certain snake that I'm not going to say the name of because I don't want to jinx myself. We're going to hopefully see some awesome stuff tonight. I don't usually go to this place at night time, so it should be pretty cool. Today I had a great time scuba diving with Caitlin, and not going to lie, I thought we were going to die for a second because there was lightning striking very close to us. We survived, so tonight I'm going to go try to have some fun, see if we can find some snakes. I will let you guys know how it goes. See you there. We're about to be off on an adventure. We just had a good rain come through, so hopefully we'll see some cool stuff today. Alrighty, we got our first snake of the day. A little brown water snake. Under this bush, he's got his head sticking straight up. First turtle. It's a yellow-bellied slider, it looks like. He's right there. Pretty big one. All right, this turtle almost got me. This is uh, the first in-hand turtle of the night. It's an intermediate musk turtle. We're about to start looking for snakes, and I just saw this guy scooting across the bottom, so hopefully that's a good sign that things are moving. All right, it's taken longer than expected, but we just got the first in-hand snake of the night. It's the usual suspect for this place. It's a brown water snake. This is a beautiful specimen. Look at that thing. These guys look like little mini pythons. And when you get young ones, they just are glowing. Look at that. All right, we got two more pretty close to each other. This one right here, this larger one, is a adult male. They can get bigger, but this is about average size I see for males. And then the smaller one, just a juvenile, either way. But pretty cool. They're starting to come out. It's taken them long enough. Starting to see snakes. Just pulled this nice big yellow-bellied slider out of the water. This is a big female. Quite an old turtle. This is a big slider. They don't get too much bigger than this from what I've seen. It's got a little chunk missing out of her shell there that could be an old alligator snapping turtle bite. But yeah, she's very old. She has a huge head, very faint markings. That is a really cool looking turtle. Well, Alexis just found probably the coolest thing so far. This is a piece of Native American pottery that was just mm -hmm. sitting on the ground right there. Right here. And it's got a really cool pattern on it. That's awesome. Looks great out here. We found a few water snakes, which is a good sign. Not as many as I would have hoped by now. We're still finding snakes, and that's a good sign. Some of these cypress trees are ancient. It is like 11 o'clock now, and snake activity seems to have slowed down. Just found another intermediate musk turtle. This one you can see a little bit better, the stripes and the spots on the head. This guy's good looking. I'm gonna let him go and keep looking. Not too optimistic we're gonna see any more snakes tonight, but you never know, it could turn around before we leave. What's up, bro? Got a toad on a root. It's one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. This is a fishing spider feeding on what looks like a pine woods tree frog, which he's presumably snagged out of the water there or off of this tree. Just look at the size of that spider. I'd like to put my hand up there to show you just how big it is, but 
I don't want to scare him. Is that a donkey? Yeah. <laughs> There's a wild donkey in the woods. Well, that is one of the coolest things I've seen. I'm going to correct myself. I think that's actually a gray tree frog. You can see him working it into his mouth with his fangs there. It's so hard to tell because the frog's lost its color because it's dead, but that white underneath the eye says gray tree frog. The moon's nice and bright though, so that's more or less how we're finding our way. We're doing some herping today in the armpit of Florida, and we're looking for snakes of any kind. Just want to see some snakes this week, so we're out here putting in the work. All right, come on. Wait, look, look, look. Oh. Did, that's not from you guys putting that there before? No. We didn't see that last time. I think that's a scarlet. Just going off the size and the smooth scales and all. Okay, well let's... Oh yeah, look, it goes all the way up in here. Look at this. That's cool. See if he's under there. Oh, he's not. But I see where his, how he's got little tunnels in there. Through the rock. This is our first snake of the day. We just, of course, I, I didn't get the flip clip, but it would have been a weird one anyway. So we were prying these rocks apart, and he just shot out from underneath there. So, out of there. Yeah. So it's, it's a nice little rock. ring neck snake, and this one's really cool looking because you can see his meal there. But he's got a nice orange tail. Uh, common snake, but that's definitely a pretty example of one. So this is Taunton's second ever live ringneck, which might sound crazy. Because, as we know, they're super common in most of the areas where we herp. But around here, or at least in, in Florida in the Panhandle, they're not a super common snake. You'll see them, but nowhere near... And the densities that you see them in Georgia and some of the other parts of the range. So, yep, being that Taunton lives on the coast as well, they're not real common on the coast from what I've seen. So he doesn't, he hasn't seen a lot of them. So this is a pretty big deal for him. There's a banded water snake. I'm gonna see if I can grab him real quick. It's right there. So after catching the snake and looking at it closer, I believe this is actually a melanistic banded water snake, because when you look at the belly. The thing that really gives it away is how there's no red or orange pigment on the belly. Usually you get some of that. I'll have to throw a picture up of a, an average banded water snake ventral pattern. But this guy is just black and white. And on top, he's solid black. They usually have some sort of banding at this size or at least some brown on them. But this guy is jet black. The thing is gorgeous. All right, we're out here looking in the Spartina grass, and we just saw our first salt marsh snake of the trip. And it got away because my stupid self thought it was a stick. So I guess his camouflage worked pretty good, but we ended up finding this horseshoe crab. Also enjoying the, the marsh grass. This is a super important ecosystem for a lot of different animals. Pretty cool. That's gonna be ridiculous if I just talked up a striped crayfish snake. Dude, I did. Dude, no way. I talked up a striped crayfish, it's dead. I was just saying I got my life for striped crayfish here years ago and then we literally cruise up on a dead one. That's ridiculous bad luck. So we were just taking bets on what the next snake of the night was gonna be because we lost a little snake off the road back there. Didn't really see what it was. And Dakota said ribbon would be the next snake and I said it would be a salt marsh snake. And sure enough, it's just the tiniest salt marsh known to man. This little guy is brand new. He probably was just born. They give birth to live young. Look at that belly though. What a beautiful little snake. I've never seen a salt marsh snake this small. That is crazy. So. Well, I saw that other baby one that was about that size. I yeah, saw yeah, we think the other snake that we saw, the little one that got off the road, was probably also a baby salt marsh.
but really happy with that. We'll take some voucher shots and just let them go. So another little tidbit about these guys is that they are the only um, saltwater snake in the southeast that I can think of. I mean, we don't have sea snakes, so. Yeah. In the eastern United States, this is the only saltwater snake that you're going to find, and they inhabit these salt marshes, as their name implies, and they eat uh, little marine fish, and they'll probably take frogs if they venture into freshwater habitat, but for the most part, they're just eating little minnows and things that live in the Spartina grass. All right, next snake of the night is a pygmy rattlesnake. A welcome find, but a common one. And the ones around here are really pretty. They got a lot of orange on them. So I'm pretty happy with this. I love a good pygmy. Bye, pygmy. Yeah, super cool little guy. I'm gonna get a few cell phone photos and keep moving. But always nice to see a rattlesnake. Hopefully we'll see one of his larger cousins. Beautiful. All right, we got our second ring neck of the day. Little tiny one. I can't believe Dakota saw that in the road. Locked in. Locked in. Yes, sir. Oh, I don't even know how to pick him up. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I need to put some music to that. <laughs> how am I gonna even pick him up? <laughs> Oh, oh, what a uh, yeah, what a pretty one! Just like that other one. Yeah, rubbing that musk all over me. Beautiful. Well, oh, they're moving the ring neck off the road. I'm gonna move this guy off the road. Lots of little toads out tonight. <laughs> Rat snake. <laughs> Look at him. He's curious. That little dude. Always good to see a rat snake. And the, again, that is none, none of what we chose, <laughs> yeah. what we thought would be the next snake of the night. But this is a curveball, again. <laughs> yeah, they keep throwing curveballs. Yeah, not what I was expecting. I, we, we were just talking about how all the snakes we've seen tonight have been something completely different. So it's been random stuff, and now we got a rat snake. But I'm not complaining, I like variety. I'd much rather find a bunch of different species of common things than find a bunch of the same thing. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I forgot to film an outro the other night, so I'm doing it right now. It was a lot of fun making that video, and there'll be more uploaded in the near future, so please stick around, tune in for those. And if you want to, you're always welcome to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Thank you guys all for the continued support by subscribing and liking and commenting and all that good stuff and for even just watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.